Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video and today we almost did not get a video because I've been so busy during the week and you know I have clients work to work on so I wasn't able to do a retouch video but today is Friday and I am doing the retouch video after 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time when I normally upload a video. Um, I was actually inspired to do this video because most of you guys have been asking me if I only use the mixer brush uh, with frequent separation to edit this image and the answer is yes I only use mixer brush when I'm doing frequent separation so I'm gonna go right ahead and start the editing process for this image alright so the first thing I'm gonna do is to come over here to the crop tool I always crop my uh, images and if you want to crop your images for the Instagram uh, portrait size what you have to do is to come up to this section here once you click on the crop tool and you're going to come to 4 to 5 ratio which is 8 by 10 ratio and then what I'm doing now is to just crop the image in to where I want to um, you know only where I want to show so like that should be good maybe right there good so I'm going to press enter so this is what I want right so that's why I crop it like this so the first thing I'm going to do now is to create a duplicate like that good and then i'm gonna press j on the keyboard for the patch tool the patch tool is normally over this side right here and then i'm gonna remove the pimples from the model skin so i'm just gonna do this and i'm gonna move a bit fast because i don't want my video to be too long and guys i'm doing this for you i just want to show you guys how i do my edits and trust me i've been working this week like non-stop so I did not get to do this video, but I'm doing it today because you know, I'm doing this for you guys, right? So remember guys, my videos are not to teach you guys how to edit. I'm just showing you guys how I do my editing and then you can maybe learn something from it. All right. So yeah, so that looks good. Uh, the makeup artist, if you want to see uh, the makeup artist work, you can check the the image on Instagram for the makeup artist um, she's really good actually so all I'm doing right now is to just remove I'm moving the loose hair from the eyelash like that good all right good so over here now I'm going to remove these um, the glue from the eyelash and all I'm doing I'm just making a selection using the uh, patch tool and then I'm just dragging it down to up to um, a section where it does not have the glue. All right, that works perfect. So I'm actually using a tablet. Um, you can check the link in the description for my graphic tablet. Um, I paid a like about what well, at the time I paid about eighty something dollars for it, a long time ago. The price um, is lower now, I believe. So what I'm doing, I'm just zooming in to see if there's anything else on the model skin that I need to remove. Um, right here, I think I might want to patch it a little bit, maybe like that. That, good. All right, so the next step now is to do frequency separation. So what I'm gonna do is come right here and click on the frequency separation action. I'm going to use a radio 6.4 and if you do not want your image to look too soft when you're using the mixer brush and frequency separation you want to put this to about uh, 15 all right but I like when my images look a little bit soft even though I know how to control it so it doesn't look a lot well too soft and if you want to download this action it's in the link in the description as well all right so I'm going to come down here to the low frequency layer then I'm gonna come over here to my mixer brush. The mixer brush is normally nested on the brushes, so you hold it on brushes and then you'll see the mixer brush. I took mine out so I can actually access it easier. Once you're on the mixer brush, if you're using the mixer brush for the very first time, ensure that you click on this. Normally, um, you'll see a color here if, you, if you've never used it before. All you have to do is to click on this and ensure that this one is not um, selected. Your wet is going to be at 2% and everything else remains at the same. And do not click sample um, all layers. All right, good. 
so i'm now on the low frequency layer and i'm on the mixer brush i'm using the regular um brush to do the mixing so you don't need any special brush you just need to have the regular um, brush that comes with um, photoshop the soft brush actually uh, the general soft brush so all i'm doing is just to uh, mix the image i'm just trying to get everything in one and it softened the skins a little bit all right let's look at the before and after real quick so before and after so you see what the mixer brush is doing it's just bringing everything um, together I'm gonna zoom up some more and I'm gonna lower my brush by using the left bracket and then I'm just gonna do the nose bridge I'm gonna use the side of the nose side again I'm just bringing everything together And guys please don't ask for the image <laughs> I'm not going to allow you guys to edit this image whenever I want you guys to edit an image I will put the image in the description I will even tell you guys that hey you can edit with me but please don't ask for the images and when you're going to be editing any of my images I want you to post it in the group and not on your Instagram because the images are only there for practice and not for you to advertise on your Instagram for jobs it's just for you to practice so I don't want you guys to be uploading the images to your Instagram uh, because sometimes most of you you know don't really do a good job and I just have to be careful you know when it comes to that all right so I'm gonna go over here to the other image well not the other image the other person and I'm just gonna mix everything together again and when you're mixing try to ensure that you stay in one area at a time so for example this area is highlighted you want to stay in the highlighted area right now and if there's another area that has a shadow you do that separate from um, separate apart from the highlighted area you don't want to mix them all right I'm gonna come down here I'm gonna do this as well this side here so I'm just trying to you know get everything together if the if the model has any um, moles on the face try not to mix over it because it's going to look soft if you do all right that looks good let me just go under the chin all right good so let's look at the before and after I'm all zoomed in now so before and after before and after you have to be careful though when you're making some adjustments because you don't want to um, you don't want the face to shape different from what it's like now so you have to be careful sometimes all right that looks good so my next um, step is to do dodge and burning so dodge and burning so burning is basically working on the areas that are dark so I'm gonna press B on the keyboard for my brush and my flow is gonna be at 1% my opacity is going to be at 100% and I'm using the regular soft brush so all I'm doing right now, the burn, I'm just going to work on the um, the areas that I see is dark. And it's basically giving, you know, creating a dimension, shape the model's face. And if, 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 if the face doesn't look like it needs any dodge and burning, you don't have to add it. But I always want to add dodge and burning because I want to shape the face. <laughs> so let's look at the um, burning so far. Let me just zoom this. Let me just move this up right here. So before and after. Before and after. Good. You want to ensure that your images. What's happening here? Oh, let me cancel. Um, view properties. Okay. I think I double clicked on the layer or something like that. Um. Let me see. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to come down here to the, the uh, dodge. I'm going to work on the highlighted area now, all right? And remember, when you're working on the highlighted area, if you don't necessarily have to add any highlights, do not add any highlights, all right? So right here, I, I can see where it's a little bit dark right here. So I want to add some, I want to add some highlights right there. Right here is dark as well. I'm just going to add some highlights. 
because I want light to be, you know, I want the highlight to come right down from the top here, right down. It's gonna fade it off right there. Good. So let's look at the before and after for that. So before and after, that's a subtle change. And then I'm gonna come here and do the same right under here and here. The chin right here. So you want to do the places that are highlighted. Once you see a highlight there, you want to enhance it. Alright, looks good. I'm not going to do the forehead because it's highlighted already. But I'm going to highlight this model's forehead. Before and after, good. I'm just going to highlight here as well. The nose bridge. And the cheek. Just a little bit. Alright, that looks good. Perfect. For some reason, here is not even. I'm gonna go up here to the burn and I'm just gonna add I'm gonna add some uh darkness here just to even it out a little bit. Over here as well. Alright, that looks good. For some reason here is not um you know what i'm gonna try to add some darkness to here it it doesn't look balanced to me i think i just need to add some burn okay i think i like that now uh yeah i think i like that now good let's look at the before and after for both i'm just gonna click the first one then hold on on alt click the second then still hold on on alt i'm gonna press g to create a group so this is db dodge and burning so let's look at the before and after real quick before and after before and after for everything hold on on alt and click on the eye right here before and after so for some reason here is not blended like how i want it to be blended. i'm going to come back here to the um frequency separation go down to the low i'm going to press m on the keyboard for my mixer brush because that's my shortcut and i'm just going to mix here a little bit I think I like that better. It, it did not look even at all. No, it looks better to me. All right, so I'm gonna do some color grading now. So I'm gonna Control Shift Alt E to create a new layer. Control J to create a new layer. To create a duplicate of a new layer. Then I'm gonna go to Filter. Then Camera Raw. Um, press um, Auto and see what it looks like. Okay, no. So I'm going to come down to, I'm going to go over to the collaboration um, option. Then I'm going to go to uh, primary colors. I'm just going to bring in some warmth in the blues a little bit. Let's look at a before and after for this. Um, I don't think I like, or maybe I could just do a little bit. Then I'm gonna come over here to the HSL option and I'm just gonna try to make some adjustments to the skin by playing with the orange, just like that. And then I'm gonna play with the background color. I did not do that in the original image, but yeah, just play with that a little bit. All right, so I think that is it for now. I am going to try something different. I'm gonna go to the curves. I'm gonna play with the curves a little bit. So I'm gonna bring this down. Um, like that. All right, so I'm gonna lower the opacity for the curve, maybe about right there. And then I'm gonna add some blue in the shadows as usual. And then, for some reason, I want it to be a little bit warmer. Hmm. So what I'm gonna do is to create a new layer again. I'm gonna go to Camera Raw. I want to warm it up a little bit and then I'm gonna to go to the temperature put about three percent that works and then I'm gonna to go to dehaze all right I'm gonna come back over here to the um, collaboration and then uh, that should work uh, let me look at the before and after real quick for everything so before and after 
I think I like this color grading that I've done just now. It, it works, I guess. Um, yeah, so that is it for the retouching and color grading of this image. It may not look um, like the one that I did before. I'm gonna pull it up real quick. All right, so this is the one I did. It's not really far off. It's not really far off. This one looks a little bit more um, rich in color. So I'm gonna work on that. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm going to go back to. I'm gonna do contrast, brightness, and contrast. So I'm gonna say contrast, and then a little bit of brightness. That is it for the image. I mean, I don't think I need to do anything else. That is it. So let's do a before and after again. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to do a before and after inside of Camera Raw. All right, for some reason, Camera Raw is not coming up. Let me create a new layer and then go to Camera Raw. Oh, I just applied Camera Raw. The last settings. All right, good. So before and after. Good. So that's the before and after. Well, no. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> All right. So I want to do a before and after, but I don't want to. Oh, you know what? Yeah. I didn't want to show you guys those images. So I was scared to do a before and after. Like how I normally do it. But let me just do it now. And then that. Wait. Hold on. on. Good. All right. So I'm going to go up here to arrange and then vertical up. Good. So that's the before and after. Perfect. So that's the before and after, guys. So thank you guys for watching. If you learned anything from this video, you can give me a thumbs up. And you know what? We could actually make some more adjustment to the image. Because guess what? I just noticed that there is... Well, I saw it when I was doing the edit, but... Like, there's a loose here, right here. So I'm going to press J on the keyboard for the... Um, what do you call this brush again? the well the tool is the um what's that tool again this tool right here <laughs> patch tool all right so yeah so that's the oh there's one more here again oh my god there's too many yeah i'm not going to do anything else that's it <laughs> all right guys so thank you for watching um stay tuned next week for another video and thank you for 7000 subscribers <laughs> bye bye